Hi, boys and girls. Okay, so right now I'm going to talk about how to use the distributive property in review in reverse. And this is your review packet, page two. Um, and so there is an example in on that page, example four, four x plus eight. So again, we're going to be looking at terms, and the terms are the numbers between the addition and subtraction signs. So here's a term and here's a term. And do these two terms have any factors in common? Is there a number that divides into both four and eight? Yes, there is. It's four, two as well. But if you want to completely factor it, it would be four. So let's take four out and I'll show you what I mean. Four times, okay, you're going to have a term here and a term here now. All right, four times what is four X? Four times X is four X. And four times what is eight? Four times two is eight. So you can do this either way now. You can say four times x is four x plus four times two is eight. That's the distributive property in reverse. Okay, let's do another example. Example five. We're going to do six x squared minus 9x. All right, again, let's look at the terms. Okay, what do these two terms have in common? Let's look at the numbers first. Is there a number that divides equally into both 6 and 9? There is. It's 3. So we're going to take 3 out. I'm calling it taking it out because I'm going to take it out of the parentheses here and we're going to have minus and then we're going to have a term here and a term here okay and then let's look at the variables x the variable okay there's an x there's an x there's one x that they both have in common so then look how this works 3x times what equals x squared well 3 times 2 is 6 and x times x is x squared. So 6x squared is the same as 3x times 2x. Then minus, let's get to 9x from 3x. So what do we have to multiply? 3x times what equals 9x? Well, 3 times 3 is 9. And then if we put another x here, it will be x squared. So that's it. 3x times 3 is 9x. Um, let's see. Do we have enough time? Yeah, we have enough time for another example. Okay. Let's do example 6. And you know what? You should be circling your results. Okay. Number 6. 6x plus 12y plus 3. Let's look at each of these terms. Okay, you know you're going to have something that you're going to multiply all of the terms by in the parentheses. Okay, and this time we've got three of them, so you're going to have a term here, here, and here. Okay, so what can we take out? What do all of these three terms have in common. If I just look at the numbers, I can see that they all have 3 as a factor. Okay, you're trying to find a factor that they have in common because that's what you're going to multiply them by. So, 3. And then, do they have any variables where they're all in common? Nope, that's it. Okay, so 3 times what is 6x? Well, 3 times 2 is 6, so 3 times 2x is 6x. Plus 
plus 3 times what is 12y. 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 times 4y is 12y. And then the last one, well, 3 times what is 3? 1. So 3 times 2x plus 4y plus 1 is the same when you use the distributive property. Could multiply it all back together again, we would get 6x plus 12y plus 3. Let's circle our result.